Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Essentials onto your server. Essentials is a Spigot plugin. That means you want to be running Spigot, Bucket, or Paper. So if you're not running that, then go ahead and do that first. If you're not sure how, scroll down to the Server Type, Bid Jar, and Reinstall menu. Once you're in the menu, you can pick Paper, Spigot, or Craft Bucket, also known as Bucket. But we are going to pick paper and we recommend you also pick paper for this as it is the most optimized. So now that you have your server version picked, let's go ahead and install Essentials. So in the description, there will be a link to the Spigot page for Essentials X. So as you can see, it does work on 1.8 all the way up to 1.17. And it is updated frequently, so if you are in a future version, then it most likely works on that one too. You can read all the source code and even donate if you want to, but we're going to go ahead and download it. You then want to click this, it'll take you to this site, and you can just click download. If it does ask you this, just go ahead and click keep. Now we can go back to our server. So now that we are on our server, we want to go to the left and click on file manager. We then want to go into plugins. You then want to click upload, file, and then find essentials you then have to click on it and click open it will then upload the file and there we go essentials x is now installed you can then click back and go ahead and start your server or restart it if you didn't stop it okay so as you can see we are now in the game and if we do go ahead and do slash we can see that we do have essentials installed so that is the full installation for Essentials. We also do have Essentials Chat, which you can also install the exact same way you did before. The Essentials Chat just lets you add prefixes onto your names, and you will have to have the Vault plugin to be able to use them as well. Anyway, let's show you some of the commands you can use with Essentials. So first of all, some of the most simple, but also most commonly used commands. Of course, this would be slash TP. So if you do slash TP, then a player's name. I don't have anyone in the server, so I can't do it. But if I do pick someone's name in, it would teleport me to them. If you do slash TPA, and then put someone's name, it will send them a request which they have to accept for you to be able to teleport to them. So they must accept your request to teleport, and then you'll be teleported to them. Next we have TP all, which will obviously TP everyone to whoever's name you put here. So if there was multiple people in the server and I did TP all strange stand 2, it would TP everyone to me. You can also do slash TPA all, which will ask everyone if they want to be teleported to you. Also, if you're getting a lot of teleport requests and you don't want them anymore, you can simply do slash TP toggle, and this will make it so people can no longer send you requests. However, if there is an operator and they do have access to the TPO commands, they will override that meaning that even if you have toggled it off, they can still teleport you. So now I'm going to show you some home commands. We do already have a full video on home commands, so I am just going to show you a few ones here. If you do want to watch that video, I will leave a link in the description, and there will also be a card in the top right corner of this video right now. So homes work pretty simply. You just do slash, set home, and then the home name. So for example, I'll just put grass. And as you can see, Home has been set to current location. I can then go wherever I want, how far away. I'm just going to go over here, and if I do slash home, I can then pick grass. You also notice you do have bed, which will just teleport you to where your bed is. As I said, we do have a much more in-depth guide for homes in the comments below. The next few commands I'm going to show you can be useful for just simply changing game mode really, really quick. It's pretty simple how to use it, so you can just do slash GM, meaning game mode, and then whichever game mode you want. So as you can see, there is already quite a few here. So if we do GMA, that is adventure mode. If we do GMS, that is survival. If we do GMSP, that is spectator. And GMC is creative. I'm now going to show you some vanish commands, just so you can hide from other people. Bear in mind that other ops on the server will be able to see you. But anyone who doesn't have those permissions will not be able to see you. So you'll be completely vanished even off of the player list. You can simply do slash V. And there we go. Vanish for Strange Stand 2 enabled. You're now completely visible to normal users and hidden from in-game commands. Meaning people cannot do, for example, slash kill 
strange than. Obviously, it's me, so I can do it myself, but other people could not do commands on you. Also, to get out of Vanish, you can simply just do slash V once again. If you did want to send a private message to someone in your server, slash MSG, meaning message is the perfect way to do this. This will send the message to just them. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to set your spawn. So if I kill myself right now, we can respawn. And this is my current spawn. As you see, a big dark oak biome. If we want, for example, to spawn over here, if we want to spawn in this plains biome, we can simply just do slash set world spawn. And there we go. It is now set the world spawn point to this. And if we do the command once again to kill myself and respawn, as you see, we have spawned in the plains biome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it did help you out, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.